as the chief of installations, I guess what I do is, um, one, uh, coordinate the efforts of all the people that are on my staff to make sure that an object is handled safely, that it meets the needs of conservation, that it meets the needs of what a designer or a curator has in vision for that object, and that when it's shipped, that it's shipped in a safe manner. So we're sort of responsible for the final vi visual product of what you're seeing in, in a museum uh, with consideration of what we're doing is in the best interest of the object and the safety of the object. One of the ironies that I think about handling art is that most people think that the older the object is, the more fragile it is. But the reality is that many contemporary pieces are equally as fragile, if not more fragile than antiquities. And sometimes the job is very straightforward, but sometimes it really requires artistic flair. On our staff, we have an expert mount maker. We have people that can do amazing paint effects. We have people that are just really sensitive to how art should be shown and the nature of what's being done in a gallery. Sometimes an object, it's a single object, becomes extremely difficult. The most challenging aspect of the mint elephant wasn't necessarily the installation. Uh, the installation was pretty straightforward. I mean, it was a large ceramic piece that weighed quite a bit. Uh, what was more of a concern for us was that this was the first time this object had been lent to a museum or any other institution, first time it traveled internationally. So we're very concerned that we could make every sort of effort to assure the lender that nothing would happen to the piece. You know, I think the first time that it really struck home for me of what I was actually doing was when I started handling works of art that I had, that I had studied about in school. And it wasn't just an image in a book. It was the actual object in my hands. And sort of the sense of awe in that, and then the sense of what an awesome responsibility <laughs> that is handling that object. Um, just the everyday um, sort of awe of realizing that, oh, this is a Turner, this is a Stubbs. Um, or on the other hand, a Henry Moore or a Francis Bacon. It's, it's, you still get a bit of a, uh, that chill up your spine, that bit of a thrill of like, I'm actually handling this object. This isn't just something, it isn't abstract. It's the real thing. And I think it's really important always to keep in mind that no matter what we're doing, we're doing it for an audience and for a community. And um, that's where I feel very much uh, an honor to have the job that I have because I realize what we do is ultimately going to be enjoyed by not only the Yale community, but the larger New Haven community and a, and a community beyond that. Mm -hmm.